So I would like to present uh, our study with the title of mapping of the functional anatomy of the lymphatic drainage to the axilla in the early stage breast cancer. This is a cohort study of more than 900 uh, cases. Um, sorry. Uh, the regional lymph node status in the most important <coughs> prognostic factor for disease-free and overall survival in breast cancer. The gold standard method for staging patients with early breast cancer is a central lymph node biopsy. Functional lymphatic drainage of central lymph node biopsy in the mammary gland, skin and axilla present a number of uncertainties. The axilla is divided into subregions by the axilla, axillary vein, the lateral thoracic vein and by the thoracodorsal vessels. Here you can see the, the, the anatomic preparation of the axilla. You can see the anterior region, the central region in the middle of the axilla, the posterior region in the back of the axilla, the lateral region to lateral from the uh, thoracodorsal vessels, and the apical region behind the uh, pectoralis, uh, pectoralis minor muscle. Uh, we had many aims of this investigation, and uh, the first aim was to examine the localization of the central lymph node in the axillary, axillary subregion, anterior, posterior, central, lateral, or apical, in patients with early breast cancer. Another aim was to statistically assess correlation between the location, the size, histological parameters of par primary breast tumor, and the subregion of the central lymph node. Uh, again, was the, another uh, aim to statistically assess the central lymph node positivity and its location with the subregion, to study the axillary coverage with standard tangential field or high tangential field uh, irradiation in node positive patients, and to assess the central lymph node positivity rate in the lateral, not removed subregion when axillary reverse mapping technique is applied. Um, this retrospective cohort study uh, uh, started in 2013 and ended in 2015 at the Department of uh, 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 Breast and Sarcoma Surgery in our institution. The inclusion criteria was the female patients who was younger, uh, older than 18 years uh, with primary unilateral invasive or microinvasive clinical lymph node negative early stage breast cancer. Exclusion criteria were uh, previous axillary clearance or clinically positive axillary central lymph node, pregnancy, lactation, and necessity of neoadjuvant treatment for breast cancer. Uh, the subregional localization of the central lymph nodes was identified and recorded on some standardized data sheet by the operating surgeons. Uh, we injected uh, technetium nanocolloid. Uh, peritumorally or periorally, uh, uh, pe potent blue was used only when lymphocytography was unsuccessful. Uh, following breast conserving surgery, patients underwent 3D conformal radiotherapy from two opposing tangential fields. Auxiliary volumes level 1, 2, and 3 were contoured using the radiation therapy oncology group contouring atlas. Uh, more than 900 women <coughs> were enrolled to the study. The average age was 64 years. 63 patients were excluded from the study because of the lymphoproliferative disease, PT3 lesions, or incomplete data. The mean size of the removed primary tumors was almost 22 millimeters with a median of 90 millimeters. The average of 1.65 central lymph nodes were harvested per operation and central lymph node positivity rate was almost 22%. We injected the uh, isotope or blue dye uh, 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 in 60% periareolary, that, that's mainly the uh, potent blue and, and, and uh, technetium, and uh, almost 40% peritumorally the technetium uh, isotope. In 90%, we used only the isotope. In 4.6%, we used uh, potent blue. And in 5%, we used both uh, technique. Uh, according to the peritumoral injection, 
we uh, check the correlation between the location of the tumor and the subregional localization of the central lymph node. And there was a significant correlation between the location of the breast cancer and the subregional location of the central lymph node. But that we could not find a significant uh, uh, correlation because between the positive central lymph node and the primary tumor localization. According to the peritumoral injection, uh, uh, there was a significant correlation between the location of the breast cancer and the location of the central lymph node, but there was no significant uh, uh, correlation between the central lymph, positive central lymph node and location of the tumor. Yeah, it's, it's here. Uh, 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 the most common site of the central lymph node was the anterior subregion and the least common was the apical subregion, but the metastatic rate is, was the highest at this, at this uh, uh, region, at the apical region, it was 30%. Other region, it was 20, 21%. We checked the irradiation fields and Berg level coverage at level one, uh, uh, Berg level, the high tangential field increased the complete coverage of 65% uh, of the axilla at the level one. At level two, the rate out of, out of field with st uh, standard tangential field was 72%. And at level three, the coverage was poor. You can see here that the coverage was, was less than 10%. Uh, in 91% of the central lymph nodes were presented in the anterior, posterior, and in the uh, central subregions. In our study, central lymph node was present in the lateral subregion in 5.14% of the cases. Out of these 48 lymph nodes, 11 central lymph nodes were positive. In the apical subregion, 9 central lymph nodes were found positive out of 30 removed lymph nodes. So in total, 20 positive lymph nodes uh, of our cases would be left undertreated if we apply tangential whole breast irradiation for treating the axilla according to, according to the Z11 study. What about the axillary reverse mapping techniques? We inject blue dye into the arm at, and the lymph nodes that are stained with blue dye should be preserved to prevent postoperative lymphedema. The subregional localization of the arm nodes are not yet clearly identified, but it seems obvious that majority of the lymphatics uh, draining the upper lymph transfers is deep in the axilla. This was also confirmed by Ikeda and colleagues. Finding arm nodes mainly in zones that correspond to the apical, lateral, and posterior axillary subregions. Uh, in our study, 281 central lymph nodes presented in the arm regions. We found metastasis in 63 central lymph nodes. So this means that 6.75% of all our cases had one positive lymph node in the expected arm lymph node regions. So according to our data, using this technique carries a high risk to preserve positive lymph node during the operation. In, 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 in conclusion, there were no clinically significant correlation between the clinical pathological parameters of the primary breast cancer and the subregional localization of the central lymph node. However, it is obvious from the data that central lymph node is more than likely to be present in an anterior, posterior, and central axial subregions. The positive lymph node rate at the arm regions is not negligible. According to these results, the oncological safety of arm technique is, is uh, questionable. In our view, for the proper treatment of the axilla and additional targeted axilla radiotherapy is needed. This correlates with the results of the Hungarian Ottawa Shore Prospective Randomized Clinical Trial. Thank you for your attention.